Hi, this is Joe, and today I'm going to talk about a new feature in the iRule Editor called Offline iRule Editing. For a while now, folks have been asking about the ability to use the iRule Editor when it's not directly connected to a big IP to edit iRules, and I've finally added that feature in the latest release. So I'm going to, I'm going to start this up, start up the iRule Editor, and I'll show you how, to, how it's used. Uh, the first thing you'll notice now when you connect up and you start is that you'll have a offline iRules node here, and this is where, when you're not connected to your big IP, all your iRules are located. So I'll start by creating one. We'll click create a new rule. We'll call this one um, offline iRule, and let's base it off which one? How about uh, cookie encryption? So now we've got our, our rule here. It's not saved, so we'll click Save. And now this is actually working off the local disk. So I can do things like, it's the same usage as you would. You get your autocomplete and your highlighting and everything, but uh, now you're just not connected to a big IP. So what I would do here is, after you're done making your changes, click Save. You'll notice that there's a few features disabled, like check syntax, where it connects to the big IP to validate the, uh, the actual syntax to your file. Um, those features are not enabled, so I can easily just write something garbage and click Save here, um, because we're not actually connecting to a big IP. This is not a debugger or validator, it's just a straight editor. So we'll go ahead and save this, and uh, I will show you where these guys are located on disk. So if you click on the archive, open archive folder, um, this is where our live files are archived off, but if you go up one level and click in offline here, you'll see that file that I created. And there you go, it's just a text file on disk. So you can go ahead and work with the text file and load it into the editor, or vice versa. Um, so there's your, there's how iRules are edited offline. You've got your iRule here, you click New, Save, and as you have a whole bunch, it basically um, iterates through that directory for all the text files in there and loads them up into the iRules. Now, now I'll show you how, how it integrates when you're live and how you uh, um, take live iRules and back them up and uh, vice versa, or drag them back and forth. So you'll see now there is under the local traffic, there is this offline iRule. Now what happens if I want to bring that back online, right? Um, the uh, offline eye roll, you can click edit and copy it and create a new one on the server and save it. You can also drag and drop from, uh, you know, I have a problem here with mine because essentially I have so many eye rolls in this tab here um, that I can't uh, drag to the top here. But the way you would, another way of working around that is to load up the offline directory, take that, drag it onto your local traffic, and now you'll have an offline eye roll and it's uh, available on your big IP. I can click save and you've got all your syntax checking. If I type something garbage in here and click uh, save, it should give me an error and as you would expect from your online mode. So we'll make that and we'll make a save. Now I've got my online eye roll. Let's say you, right now you want to take one of your eye rolls and uh, make it offline. So you want to take your online version and save it locally. So let's pick one, let's say a test is one I'm working on and I want to save that locally for next time I'm disconnected. So now there's a right click menu here, copy offline. Copy offline, right click there and scroll down and now you have in your offline eye rolls you have a test and now it's in the, uh, you'll see it's in this uh, local disk here. Uh, let's pull it up in that local directory a test so now it's archived off so you've got your your file offline these are separate eye rolls so they're not linked together so the ones that are offline are just truly offline if you want to bring it back the you know you can go cut and uh, go up to your local one and go paste and click save and then that's how you would do it at this point um, Maybe down the road I'll add a feature to uh, integrate it in and have a direct sync between offline and online eye rolls. But at this point, they're separate beasts. Um, treat them that way. Now let's go undo here, bring that guy back, and uh, we'll save it. And then you're done. So that's it. That's offline eye rolls. Uh, you'll have this new tab, and you can start editing and saving ones that you don't want on your big IP uh, down in this uh, this area here. So that's all I got to do. Enjoy it. Let me know what you think.